Welcome everybody, it's Film Room Time, I'm Brian Johannes, and on today's episode we're going to take a look at Oregon left guard Shane Lemieux. Uh, he's one of the uh, the top interior line prospects in this uh, 2020 NFL draft class. Uh, he's a player that I just got done watching and I was just fell absolutely in love with. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look at a few clips from this Stanford game, kind of highlighting the type of prospect that Lemieux is uh, and get you better familiarized with him as we enter the 2019 college football season and as he enters the 2020 NFL draft. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started. This first clip, what I want to show you is just his athleticism. Oregon, they're known for their spread offense. They're known to have put their linemen through speed school uh, because they want to move quick. They want to they want good athletes at the position, and that's the case here with Shane Lemieux. He's going to be their left guard. He's going to pull to the right. Just look at the athletic ability that you see here. He's able to get out quick, get up, and um, hit that the the defender to help spark this long run. So as we see it once again. It gets out quick, gets up, hits him just enough to spark this long run. We also see Lemieux's athletic ability um, when it comes to him sliding laterally in pass protection. Here he is on the left-hand side. He's going to slide out to his left. Just such smooth, controlled movements. Makes contact with this defensive lineman and able to come back and look uh, for more guys. So as we see here once again smooth, makes contact, I need to find more work, and it redirects back to the inside. Now, to be a good offensive lineman, you need to have more than just athletic ability. One of the best strengths that you can have for an offensive lineman is not only strength, but a good anchor. You know, especially in the interior, you're going to have strong defensive tackles, you're going to guys have blitzing, you need to be able to, you know, hold your own. And that's what's going to happen here with Lemieux. He's going to have this linebacker kind of blitzing, and he's able to just pick him up, stone him. Yeah, he kind of loses a step or two. That's going to happen. Very rarely do you get to just hit the guy and you you know, don't move a bit. He's able to pick him up, get his hands in there, okay, stop him, and negate that, that blitz opportunity. Another thing that really impressed me about Lemieux, uh, when, especially in his pass protection, is he has good awareness of what's going on. He can pick up on stunts and and loops, and twists, and all that fun stuff the defensive line likes to do. And that's the case here. This defensive uh, lineman, uh, DN, is going to kind of push hard. He's going to show that anchor to hold in. But this uh, outside linebacker is going to come looping in, and he's able to pick him up, as we see here. Holds there, picks him up enough that he's able to push him down the line right, and get him out of the way of the quarterback. Okay, so he's making this contact here, but he reads that this guy's coming. He sees it kind of disappears there, be able to quickly move up and move him just enough, get him out of that way so that uh, the quarterback, Justin Herbert, does not get hit on that play. All right, as a run blocker, uh, you know, Shane Lemieux is not going to be the most physical mauler type guy. He's not going to line up head on you and smash mouth football. Uh, he's going to use his athletic ability. He's going to use his lateral agility, and he's going to use mainly be an occupy wall type blocker. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a little bit of power. He understands how to use that leverage. And that's the case here. He's going to block this defensive end in the, the Stanford 3-4 defensive tackle, whatever you want to call him. But he's able to reach block. He's able to reach out there and just kind of push him out enough. Use his momentum for his advantage and just push him, turn him just a bit so that he uh, cannot slide back down. Uh, to help stop that run. All right, on this run play, once again, it shows, as I said, his athletic ability, that ability to reach. He's going to end up hooking and reaching this this uh, defensive tackle. He's shading him. He's playing the three, you know, this you know looks like the three technique. It might be like a four eye. It looks like he's maybe shading the uh, left tackle a little bit on his inside shoulder. But Lemieux is able to reach out and 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 cut him off, come across his face, on this outside run, okay? and he's able to get around. And right there, this 
gives the running back a lane. Now, his guy does come up and help make that tackle, so you'd like to see him maybe control his defender better. That was one of the, the concerns I had when watching Lemieux. He didn't always lock down uh, those defenders, especially in the run game. So if he could have just had his hands inside and maybe held that block for another half second, the running back might have gotten a little bit further uh, or definitely passed his guy. Uh, but still, his ability to, to reach out there and use that athletic ability and that lateral agility to to make that reach block was is very impressive. All right, the last thing I want to show, and this is the thing that I enjoyed the most, Shane Lemieux was always looking for someone to block. Uh, no matter what the play was, especially in pass protection, if he didn't have someone lined up directly on him and he, he didn't just stand there and just kind of look around and, and hang out, he was always looking to try and find someone to, to attack. And we're going to see that over these next few clips. In this case, here he slides out to the left. Hey, no one to block. Let me go find someone. He's going to come down and make contact and, and hit someone. Did it affect the play? No, but it still shows that he's willing to. He's not afraid of contact. I love that little bit of that nasty demeanor. He just wants to go hit people. All right, we see it again here. Looking outside, no one block. I'm going to come down. I'm going to hit this guy. You know, just you just got to love that, that, uh, that want to and that aggression. And then on this last clip, you see it once again. It's going to be a runaway. He's going to come through right here. And he's going to hit this this poor linebacker and knock him down to the ground. You know, he just wants to hit people. And when you're playing in the inside of the offensive line, you're going to ha need to be able to hit guys. You're going to want to have a little bit of nasty in you. And and not only does Shane Lemieux have the athletic ability, he also has that little bit of nasty. And I think that's what's going to really do him wonders when it comes to the NFL. Um, he's one of my favorite players so far to watch in this class. I kind of have him borderline late first early second round grade. It'll be kind of curious to see how he plays out. He's a part of a very talented Oregon offensive line. You know, he's six foot four, 316 pounds. You mix that size with the athletic ability, um, his ability to, to play and pass protection. That's his biggest strength. He's going to fit very well in this new age often, uh, NFL and this pass happy league. I think he's got a great shot of going in the late first round. I don't see him being a top half or a top 20 pick, but I think he could be a late first round pick. And I think a team looking to maybe make a safe pick there uh, and needing some interior offensive line help would be a guy that would really go after. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.